So I have a confession to make. I love coffee, like this coffee from my favourite cafe. I drink three cups a day. Let's not forget some snacks while I work, just for the energy boost. Ooh, but this, this takes the cake. Lunchtime. Online shopping is my way of getting things nowadays. And it's important to relax at the end of a hard day's work. So, how did I end up here? Here's the thing about sustainability. It's too inconvenient, too daunting. But luckily for me, there's one person I know who just might be able to help me and my trash. This is my sister Melissa. My total opposite when it comes to all things sustainability. You might also know her as the Bamboo Straw Girl, champion for all things eco. Her personal motto, refuse, reduce, rethink. And there's me. So that's why I'm going to ask my sister what I should do about this. I think everybody has a different take on zero waste. Each person will interpret zero waste in a different way because zero waste is an aim and not a rule. My thought process would be refuse, reduce, rethink. Rethink is the biggest R, you know. Find, rethink your choices. Yes, exactly. Finding the best choice for your own lifestyle. But for me, it's a lot of effort and I've got to think about different things before I, you know, like if I'm buying a drink, I will then think whether I really need a straw or not. Yeah, it's already a very good starting point. Because you're already conscious of it, a lot of times zero waste is not about doing something, but just not doing something or not taking something. So for example, a straw or disposable cutlery, do you really need it? And if you don't and you can make do without it, then we can just don't take it. So it's all about the little small steps. Exactly. So I mean, it's step by step and it's the little steps that add up. So as part of my way of starting small, I decided to show me all the amount of trash that I produced and to see what could be changed. I know I have plastic bags here. I'm, I'm guilty because if, it's, if I'm offered one, I will just take it. For small purchases, you know, you could just hold it in your hand or put it in your bag, right? right? These are actually really easy to avoid. All you need to do is make sure that you bring out your lunch boxes. Right. So you could just use something that you already have at home. Mm. And it's something that we just need to get into the habit of having in the bag. And if you have a dedicated set, you actually don't really need to put in so much effort to especially bring anything out. You know Mel, at the end of the day, I can't help but wonder how much impact one single person can make. It starts from the individual mindset. And if the individual mindsets of all of us don't change, then it's very hard to create that change on a systemic level. That's why I feel like it's very important that we continue to do what we do. And through this collective action, um, it will all add up. So armed with these helpful tips from my sister, I decided to try reducing my waste for a week. So my first day, I decided to gather all the reusable items I had with me from home on my day out. I said no to a plastic bag when purchasing something small and read up more on zero waste. But I found it a little bit troublesome to bring around a reusable container with me by the middle of the week. So I did have a little bit of a cheat day. By the end of the week, I subscribed to a container rental scheme that allows you to rent reusable containers so I don't have to bring around my own. I also donated my extra shipping packaging so that I could give them a second life. And this is the amount of trash I generated last week. One plastic bag from the middle of the week, some snacks packaging which really can't be helped, coffee cups and takeaway containers when I didn't bring my reusable ones, a few straws when I forgot to ask for no straws, but still a step in the right direction. I think my biggest takeaway this entire journey is to rethink the way we look at zero waste and be open to new methods about it. For example, if I'm spending majority of my time in the office, I would leave my reusable cutlery there so it's more accessible to me. To be honest, I still haven't quite gotten used to living sustainably. But while doing some research, there was one quote that really impacted me. It said we don't need a handful of people doing it perfectly, we need millions of people doing it imperfectly. Obviously, that is not the end of my zero waste story, but I've shared mine and I'm curious to know, what's yours? <laughs>